the host airport is open once again. But this time, it's aid, not passengers coming and going. Wednesday's magnitude 5.9 earthquake killed more than 1,100 people and destroyed thousands of homes in Afghanistan's southeast. Now, several countries and international organizations have been sending aid flights to this airport. Qatar sent a military plane full of food assistance. A group of medical workers from Pakistan has come to provide medical care. For those providing assistance to the people of Paktika and Khost provinces, it's a moral obligation. Ahmad al Sharawi from Qatar Charity says the people of Qatar were devastated by the news reports and wanted to do something to help. This is our responsibility to be here. Um, and inshallah, we are uh, we gonna be support them uh, from this time. And inshallah, they need to still support for like the medical uh, and the hospitals here also need to support. And inshallah, in the next flight, we are also expecting more things to help the hospitals. The Taliban government, which is struggling under sanctions and aid cutbacks, welcomes the help. Officials here say at least 300 homes were destroyed in Khost. If they aren't rebuilt by winter, people could face another humanitarian disaster. If I tell you about the aid, it would include Pakistan, Iran, Qatar, helping with the food, aid, shelter and clothing. Whether the aid is big or small, what matters the most is that support should be coming in to rebuild these people's homes. Using the Swans Quiet Airport as a base for the foreign aid also eases the strain on military planes. Previously, most of the aid was transported on helicopters that were also being used to fly the injured to waiting ambulances. But now, larger planes from other countries, the United Nations and the World Food Program, have eased some of the pressure on Afghanistan's already limited military helicopters. For months, this airport here in Khost lay dormant and empty. But now, at a time when Afghanistan is at its greatest need, it's active and bustling again. And all day, there have been flights from all over the world dropping aid to people devastated by last week's earthquake, people who lost everything. And it's sending a comforting message to the people of Afghanistan in one of their most trying times that the world has not forgotten about them and is willing to take care of people suffering from natural disasters and other setbacks.